so junction two have released their lineup for their festival which is coming up very soon um i've mentioned it previously on the podcast i think junction two might be one of the best festivals in london purely for the sound if you've been to other festivals in london you'd know the sound is garbage right garbage in most london festivals you have to literally go right to the front to hear it and i don't know about you but when i go to a festival the last thing i want to be doing is be crammed up right at the front gate fucking staring up as fucking you know um you know two door cinema club play their tracks i'd rather be far at the back i'd rather be eating a hot dog a little glizzy i'd rather be having some drinks having some bumps and doing it from that distance as opposed to right at the front but of, unfortunately because of local licensing laws and all this malarkey um, a lot of festivals can't have their sound cranked up super high so you have to kind of do make do what you have junction 2 is different junction 2 is different maybe because of where it's at it's in the west of london boston manor park and um, maybe those boroughs aren't as strict as we are here in like the east central side of fucking london that might be the reason why and the other reason why it might be because the actual festival is in a park that's underneath it's in a park next to a motorway but the main stage is underneath a motorway it's underneath like a like a dual carriage overpass thing so because of that they can really crank up the volume and because of the dual carriage where it goes over the top of the main venue you also get incredible acoustics it kind of like traps the sound a little bit so if you're looking for a london festival to go to and you don't mind traveling especially because if, if you live in east traveling to boston manor is a slog i'm not gonna lie like um i remember we went there a couple of years and it's like a, a legit hour and a half journey to get from like east all the way to west because it's like literally on the opposite ends of the fucking um what you call it um line and shit so it's a really hard place to get to maybe now it's not so much hard especially with the overground i might make the train journey a bit easier but it's still a long distance but if you don't mind traveling i do recommend going it's great value for money um great djs great organization only thing that's a bit annoying to be fair to be fair to you know the experience i had the security is a bit heavy-handed they're a little bit aggressive they can really get into your face and spoil your mood i'm not gonna lie but if you can put up with the security checks if you're smart about where you stash your shit and whatever and if me personally i prefer to just go to festivals stone sober and not drink anything and then just start while i get there because the paranoia and the anxiety when you're in the queue and you think someone's looking at you and they want to it's just too much so i'd rather just go there somewhat sober and then start to ramp up as you go in but if you're okay with doing that and you're okay with getting searched and getting sometimes they even strip searched once you get through those gates it's a pretty decent festival i'm not gonna lie loads of places to go to buy drinks great selection of food great places to hang out and chill great little rooms where you can kind of go and see people like stages and shit whatever it may be and i think this lineup is probably one of my favorites as well but this lineup oddly enough this lineup oddly enough one of the interesting lineups that i like about it is the saturday so a lot of people are into going on the friday and the sunday but i honestly think the saturday might be my favorite lineup i'm not gonna lie the saturday features um adam Bayer back to back with emily lenz i don't give a fuck about that um avalon emerson love um daniel avery back to back with um sam abdullah love dvs1 back to back with dj nobu that's gonna be fucking killer on the Saturday. That's a really good lineup. Fiaka playing, Gabriel Quartango, I'm a big fan of. Hi, who I love. Jacko Jacko, Jeff Mills, the fucking legend. John Hopkins, legend. Juliet Fox, Kessie. Kiki's gonna be sick. LSDXOXO will be great. That venue, I think LSDXOXO playing his brand of like party dance music, electronic music, especially considering he's healed by that time. I think the EP would have dropped. He's got loads of remixes out. He's been having an absolutely crazy last 18 months i think so that would be great to see him play in that kind of field or in that sort of environment mary mary moxamia who's an absolute killer that'd be great to see um ox Ticks, who i know um renee wise right because i'm the fucking chairman of the renee wise fine club so seeing renee wise play there is going to be absolutely sick he's going to be there richie horton tape feed vtsss who you know i'm not the biggest fan of vtss but still um i think a vtss alongside the lsd xoxo will give the place a little bit of a fun care free chill vibe so if you're really looking for a place to go to and you're not too sure where you want to fucking rave at especially for the summer especially for festivals because a lot of them are quite expensive and not that great value for money i really recommend you check out junction too um even though it's had a bit of a you know they had they had a they had, a, they had some flops in terms of some festivals because i think they had to move it one time and that wasn't really too fond of the location they moved it to but now they're back in boston man and boston manor park sorry it's going to take place from friday the 26th um to sunday the 28th of july 2024 so definitely check them out if you haven't already great fucking lineup from friday to saturday to sunday um 
maybe it might be an option actually i might actually check if i'm actually going to go on a saturday i might actually check whether or not i could get a little cheeky airbnb near it because honestly the journey back home the journey back home is muerto, muerto. you know what i mean it's fucking crazy so i'm actually looking to seeing if i could check check out and get a little fucking cheeky you know airbnb next to boston man apart because junction 2 is actually a bit of a, it's actually a bit of a vibe and if i'm only in it for the one day I think that might actually be a good thing to check out. Let me actually check if to see got if they got tickets for the for the day. Junction two festival twenty twenty four. Let's see if they've got any tickets for the actual day um only. Let's see if they've got Saturday tickets. Maybe they don't because sometimes they do split them in a weird way. Yeah, you got Saturday tickets. So Friday, so all the tickets, you can buy tickets for each day. Um they're available. Seventy one uh twenty five plus the seven pound booking fee. Um, which is pretty decent so you can obviously buy them separately if you want to as well third release already available so definitely check them out if you are that way inclined so pretty decent especially if you're considering the lineup you're going to get for it 70 quid for all those djs playing is pretty good i'm not going to lie 70 quid for all djs is pretty good i'm not going to lie i'm not going to lie big up junction two